just a big dark mass out there. I like we, it. Yeah. We'd like to apologize for the pre-show. I'm gonna work on <laughs> work on my suntan up here. It looks good. We we plan a lot of things, but our planning starts now. Um, <laughs> All right, well, welcome to the Dice Out here at PAX Unplugged. Thank you guys for coming. We really appreciate it. Uh, yeah. I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Sam Healy. Welcome. I'm Eric Summer. And I'm Z Garcia. Hi. Ooh, wow, that came out nice and I like strong. these mics. Yeah. These are great. It's almost like I've been warming up backstage. Mm. <laughs> they laughed. They were laughing at our warm-ups backstage, I think. There was not... Yeah, it was that laughing. was not warm-ups. That was more like drunken calisthenics. <laughs> I.e. <laughs> Sunday matinee. <laughs> it works. We're going to get started here. <laughs> so what we're doing here is we are going to do a top five list. Now, we said top ten because we lied, but um, <laughs> we decided that once we found out there was an hour, that doing 40 games uh, might not might take too long. So we're going to do five games each, and at the end then we'll take questions. So if you have some questions, you can think about those and ask those at the end of the show, and we'll do our best to answer those or ignore them and go to the next question, um, like I do in my live Q&As. Um, so we're doing our top five games that need an expansion, but we put some caveats on the list, and for the first time, I shared them you, you did. Ahead of time. Like a whole week ago, you told me. Yeah. I told them what the... So, the game cannot have an expansion already. Or have an expansion announced. Can you define expansion? You never said expansion? the announced part. I didn't? No, you didn't. No. Oh. You didn't. Can you define the word expansion, though? What, what constitutes a, an, an expansion? I know we should have talked about this beforehand, but so, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm just curious. Like an additional thing you buy for the game that says the word expansion on it? Well, is a promo an expansion? Yeah. No. Like a single card is not an expansion. Is what it's not? Saying. What if it says expansion promo card? <laughs> do you have like a, do you have like a actual thing in mind? Maybe. Okay. <laughs> The second rule was we didn't pick any game that came out in the last few months because obviously they don't have expansions yet, unless it's a Kickstarter game, in which case it was released okay. with, with expansions. Yeah. Can, can you define few months? <laughs> <laughs> no? Okay. Yeah, this is why I'm going to turn gray sooner. All right, so um, I found this list to be a lot harder than I thought. I was like, oh, yeah, we can put this together. And, huh, almost every game I thought needed an expansion has oh, one. Has one. Has one. Yeah, I, I found the same thing. I was looking at the shells going, wow, I really, nope, that has one. Yeah. Yep. That won't, nope. Yep, nope. Yeah. yeah Even I, if knew, I, don't I knew when he gave us this topic, I knew it was going to be hard because all of the games that I enjoy, they almost come like pre-made with expansions. They don't even wait. I don't like any games that don't have expansions, that's right. what you're saying. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty much it. Do you think there's going to be any crossover on this list? <clears throat> Not with my list. <laughs> you mean like you're not doing the same one twice, obviously? Well, no. I, I, <laughs> what? No. Is, that, well, is there going to be any crossover not on my list? My number five? I, hope not. I think the cheese in that... Are, are that my, my five and three are the same game. Yeah. The cheese in that sandwich you ate earlier was all right, all right, all right. turned south, I'm pretty sure. I'm confused. Let's get started. Number five. Ooh. <laughs> Smooth as butter. Every time. All right, my number five is a game from a publisher, and the game is called Automania. Automania. Automania is one that Tom forgot about. It would have been his number six. We'll just say that, okay? Yeah. Yes, that's what we do. Tom's often. number six. <laughs> uh, it's got. It's, got, it's, it's a really straightforward concept in which you are, again, building cards and um, then selling them, either in the European market or in the American market. And developing the car comes with a little drafting, sort of a worker placement bit. Once you've played the game a lot, you've seen everything there is to see. So making the cars, giving them more safety or better handling or this or that is going to become a little samey. This game would very much benefit from an expansion that gives you new parameters for these cars you are building, maybe another market, you know, that's not just uh, Europe or the US that um, lets you sell them for something else. Those two would break down to basically money or victory points and a combination of those things. 
something else. You know, adding extra elements to this, I think, would really enhance the overall package. It's one that's crying for expansions, I would say. It's not going to get them. We're, I'm, we're going we're gonna to judge if it, this will happen. I'm going to say oh, no. Oh, okay. That's part of Okay. That just means you can't argue with it as a concept. You no, I think it's a great concept. I just don't think it will happen. Okay. End of discussion? <laughs> that's, that's Sam's line. Yeah, if you wanted to, like, you know, I no, cannot have a rebuttal. You're supposed you to say. You can continue con to conversate. I don't, I, I To converse. Yes. To conversate? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> if Tom can make up words, I can too, all right? <laughs> then I can comment on it. So, yes. yes, you can. We'll Mike. conversate about that later. All right. Thank you. My conversation is over. <laughs> Number five, Automania. My number five is based on the television series Buffy the Vampire Slayer, but not the one from just a couple years ago. I'm talking about the Hasbro year 2000 Buffy the Vampire Slayer game. <laughs> because Buffy lasted seven seasons, as we all know. We do? The board game, <laughs> the board game only has four big bads. So where are the other three? Where are the other three, Hasbro? That's like a past tense pro. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's my number five. Like Buffy the Vampire bro, Slayer. Yeah, Automania is like a surefire hit to get an expansion <laughs> compared to this. <laughs> just saying. It's in the mail. <laughs> All right. There was no. You know, you said you couldn't have one from just a few months ago. You didn't say how far back we could go. I, I, yeah, well, you definitely got the mothballs off of that one. Yeah, that's my number sure. four, Parcheesi. <laughs> There is I want, crossover I want on our new lists. colors. Go, a third color. Ooh. All right. Um, okay. I, my number five probably would have been Automania, but I forgot about that game. Wow. So, my number five will never actually happen. So, let us. Thanks for doing our work that. for us. We appreciate yeah, we, that. We judge that. No, it won't happen. I know it won't. Same as Eric's actually. <laughs> my number five is Forbidden Stars. So, this game. Huh. The expansion for this game is designed. It is. It is. Ooh. So it should be disqualified Have from this list. Have you seen it? It will never be published. It, I, I... But technically, you said that we are not supposed oh to have goodness. expansions that are It will slated. never come out because... But you know it exists. Yeah. In someone's head. Oh, come on. Every ex expansion exists in someone's head. Every game has an expansion in someone's head. Right, Z just made an Parcheesi. expansion for Automania in his head. Parcheesi, I've been knocking that around for ages, but I can't figure out who's got the rights. <laughs> <laughs> we'll work on that later. Anyway, right. Forbidden Stars is a great game, and it came with the four factions, but it definitely needed, you know, we wanted to see some more of the factions. That, uh, so what did it come with? It came with Orcs, Space Marines, They're right there. Eldar. Eldar, Chaos, oh, yeah. Marines, Chaos Orcs, Marines, Orcs, and Ultramarines. But I would have liked to have seen, you know, the Necrons in it, and just a bunch of the different factions, even for the factions in the game, more mm -hmm. ships, more stuff. I mean, this was guaranteed when they made this game, they it was had, yeah. expansion ready, right? Well, absolutely. And then they, Games Workshop and, and Fantasy Flight went to that Just Friends scenario. <laughs> um, I don't think they're even there anymore. So this will never happen, but we can dream. We can dream. One can only dream. My number five is a game called Dragon Castle. And I thought this one is ripe, or as the uh, illustrious Mr. Garcia said, is primed for expansions. I mean, we're talking, you can have a complete like book that has different configurations for different maps. Mm -hmm. uh, you could even add maybe in different types of tiles. Maybe different types of, like, instead of just having forts, you have, like, soldier titles or something like that. I don't know. I was just thinking mm -hmm. it would be really neat to just add a few modular expansions to this that you can use or not use, and it would really enhance the uh, enjoyment and replayability of the game. I just thought it would be a cool idea. Sure. Silence is awesome. I, I disagree. Shut that's, up. I'm, I'm <laughs> saying that's, out of everything we've said so far, that's by far the likeliest. Oh, cool. It's also the newest. Also, if you want to get a promo it expansion is. for the game, come it's by our booth. a few months old. Yeah, one of these old. layouts that, that Sam was just talking about. <laughs> we have one yes. of those. They a have promo. promos, yeah. That's why I asked the question before we started. Right? I know, we know. Like, right before we started. If he had said no, uh, what would you I have asked done? This question Did you have an alternate number five? Was it Automania? <laughs> 
<laughs> no. I don't think Sam no. likes Automania. All right, let's move no, on. I like it. It's fine. Number four. I feel like you're asking for it now. I you're kind like kind of, of yeah, yeah. So adorable. Okay. My number four is for a card game that's got a lot in the ga in the box uh, game. I, you know, it's not necessarily lacking, but it's one that having more variety never hurts. The game is Elysium, and Elysium mm -hmm. in it to to set up the game, you are picking a few different factions, a few different colors, you know, mixing them up, and then you make the playing deck from that. And each one has its own powers, its own tokens, perhaps that you use. I'm not sure why expansions were never made to this. I mean, it just, they almost write themselves. It's the kind of game that didn't, It didn't sell well, that's, that's why. That's the yeah. only, and, and I was going to say, that's the only thing I can think of. It did not sell that well, uh, you know, therefore not a warranting one. But I would have loved to have seen more content for the game. And they had to do nothing else but give you new, again, for lack of a better term, factions. Uh, the ones that are there are great. I think the game is definitely, you know, underappreciated and you don't need expansions for this. Let me take that back. You definitely need expansions <laughs> yeah. for this. I just remember what this... You remember the title of the list. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Um, Read the title. <laughs> but more expansions would have been amazing. So, yeah, unfortunately, I don't think it sold very well. So that's my number four, Elysium. That's a good choice. Aww. Could it happen? Nope. No. So far, I don't think anything we've said is going to happen. Well, Not even Dragon Castle? No, you need to Dragon be Dragon Castle yeah. could probably happen. Yeah, yeah, that could happen. You need nah. a, you need a yeah, hush It'll, it'll be like a fifth player expansion or something. Oh, yeah, that's... Yeah, that's going to happen. You anyway, can do that to like a lot of games. I think, I think mine's, mine's likely, too. My number four that's, is uh, Pulsar 2849. The, this is a, the fun expansion. Yes. Well, hey, <laughs> there's a lot of fun in there. There is a ton of, of stuff to explore in that box already. Lots of technologies and, and bonuses at the end. Um, but I want, I want more like structures to build. I want more, more planets to discover. I want new map layouts. So the, the board has like uh, planets that you discover blind. They're, they're sort of spread out at the beginning. I want a whole new set of those with new mechanics on them. You can, you can make changes to the board just by swapping out all those planets, and, and there's a ton of stuff. I want more things to do and explore in Pulsar 2849. That's my number four. Huh, you know, this one I looked at, and I rejected it because I think the game is pretty good as is. I didn't say it was a bad game. I said... I did. That was me. It... <laughs> Yeah, we got that, okay? I Just said making it, needs, sure. it needs more. You seem space to be confused. Is, is space is you want? Can you hear me? Yeah. That's me. Coming to <laughs> your <laughs> local game store. You asked for it. Fun, the new expansion for Pulsar 2849. <laughs> Whatever, I got your back on that. No, that's uh, good. Good choice. All right. My number four is a game that was reprinted a couple years ago, but I don't think there's an expansion for it, and that is Mission Red Planet. <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, well, look, you, we, we added a moon to Mars. Let's add another planet. I mean, they're doing it to terraforming Mars. That game, they got changed the name now to terraforming, terraforming just pretty everything. much the solar system. You know, so <laughs> Mission Red Planet, Green Planet. You know, add Venus to the mix. You know, why not? And another expansion, Mission maybe another... Mission Gas Giant. That would be a right. little harder to send your astronauts to land there. Mission not a planet anymore. Pluto. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop rubbing that in, man. Okay. It still hurts. It's you can do cool hurts. stuff. It's built, on the, it's built on the campaign manager to get Pluto to become a planet again. But another, another, <laughs> map, another map with different, you know, different cards and things. I wouldn't even mind an alternate set of ten cards. Yeah. You know, and then you could pick which, I mean, which one you have. Citadels did that. And that, I mean, they're based on... What you, you know, say? What game? Oh boy, I didn't even, I wasn't even trying. You said something. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I said Citadels. Citadels! Yay, all right. Okay, there was like two people that clapped. It's a worn out joke. So I, I, I haven't done yeah, that in a while. Are you feeling okay? It's a you, probably, you probably just hurt your throat, didn't you? Yeah, I know. Yeah. What do you have? Oh, it's my turn. Um, let's see, my number four is a game called Quantum. Now, Quantum is a, is a dice rolling game. It basically just has a whole bunch of six-sided dice in them. And the pips that show up on the die when you roll them is the kind of ship that it's going to have, kind of, uh, kind of ship it's going to be. And it's also going to tell you how far that ship is going to move, what kind of strength it's going to have in battle, and all this other kind of stuff. I just thought it would be cool 
cool that if uh, we could add different sided dice to them that have different powers, different abilities, um, like have some eight sided dice in there, have a four sided dice, it's like maybe a scout ship or something like that, I don't know. Um, and then on top of that, the expansion could have more uh, planet tiles that have different configurations of planets, maybe add some new different kinds of planets in there, I don't know, I just thought it was a, a good, it's a great game, first of all. Uh, second of all, I think this would enhance it, so. Yeah, oh, that's would it. the eight sided die look like it was made of gummy bears? Made of what? Yeah, it looked like they're candy. Gummy they're, bears? Yeah, they're like a gummy. How die. would an eight sided die look like a gummy bear? Yeah, they sort of look like you could eat them. I think he means a gummy die. The a gummy bear die. is just like gummy. coming out of his mouth. Do you mean just like gummy candies? They, they look like they're made of gummies, and I'm hoping that the expansion has that and maintains that aesthetic. So it would be kind of like a what legacy are we even expansion because right you could now. eat. <laughs> I'm hungry and I why, can't have candy anymore. Why are we What's happening? You could eat why are the we dice. Deciding the like, there, was just a, there was one moment in that conversation where someone just yanked on the wheel and just it was took him. that weird path. Yeah. What's it, happening? It was, like it was kind of strange. Right. I mean, if you like roll a one on the eight sided dice, uh, like an interdimensional monster eats it and you have to eat it. That, it's, a, it's a mechanic. Wait, let's, let's move it's on. It's a new on. kind of game. Roll and eat. Roll and eat. Roll it. Ooh. And you eat it. Roll and eat. Roll mm. and eat. That's interesting. That's, I, want, I want a percentage of that. Number three. <laughs> oh, I always, it's yours. Yeah, I always forget because you're so, um, you're just mesmerized. Mesmerizing. That's a good way to put it. All right, my number three is in many ways similar to my number four. Elysium, and that uh, uh, the new one I'm talking about here for number three is uh, Ethnos. Oh, that's a good one. Ethnos. Yeah, I got applause on that one. What? Ethnos. Not ugly anymore. <laughs> <laughs> now with art. <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm, I'm not actually one of the haters of the look of this game. Yeah, I think it looks fine. A joke, I, I am. You are, I know. Says but the guy with the gaudy purple jacket. Again, the expansion. <laughs> wow. Woo. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, ah. Anyway. So same deal for Ethno. It's just more of the different fantasy creatures. You know, yeah. there's just so much out there they can take from. They need to come up with one power for each. This, if it, this isn't in someone's mind, like Tom said already, by the end of this talk, they, it, it could be. I, I can't believe that this hasn't happened. This one seems like a slam dunk, especially since it did so much better than they imagined at the beginning. I mean, it got a lot of love. This yeah. game was getting played everywhere. It scales really well, you know, it has a wide player range. It's a solid game. So why hasn't there been more? Oh, there's no know. minis in it. Sure, but the game still sold well, I think. They can't get the license to unicorns. <laughs> There's an a license that for they just unicorns? can't get a hold of. That would be awful if they slapped an IP on this, you know, like alien deck, the predator deck, and then shuffled it in with the gnomes and the skeletons. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> that's awful. I could do that. See previous comment about your jacket. Wow. I'll be eating dinner with just Eric tonight. <laughs> I always Ooh, like you, sir. All right, that's my number three, Ethnos. My number three is a cooperative game from uh, Fireside Games. It's called Hot Shots. Uh, it's about Ooh. fighting fires, uh, forest fires. My kids and I really enjoy this one. It's a, it's a push your luck dice game, but it only has four different personalities for the firefighters. That seemed a little limiting to me. I would love to see not only more personalities with more powers, but also uh, some more buildings, some more vehicles that can fight the fires in cool ways. It probably wouldn't help to make the map too much bigger. The game's hard enough as it is. Uh, but, but I'd just love to be able to swap out some stuff and put in some new buildings and tiles and make the fire explode in new and interesting ways. Hot shots, number you three. You know, there is five people on that cover. One of them's flying the plane. No, wait, there's five of them. <coughs> there are six, there's six of them. Six, there's six, man. You're missing that one. Well, that guy's a, that guy's a ghost. And you're missing the two. <laughs> That's the expansion. <laughs> the, the, the firefighters of the past teach you new things. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's really bad. I, didn't, right. I, I don't need to design the expansion. I just think there should be one. All right, my number three is another game that this one probably won't be made. In fact, this game had an unofficial expansion made for it illegally 
way back in the day. No, an illegal expansion does not count. It's still an expansion. No, it's not. It's illegal, yes, <laughs> but it's an expansion. It's not prudent. That's what the, were you going for that? Yes. Okay, good. Anyhow, that's Fortress America. I like Fortress America. I like saving America from the communists that America. are everywhere except Canada. Um, oh. No, they. Why Canada, would you do that? No, because that Canada is the only side you're not attacked from. You are attacked from oh. every other side in this game. So the expansion is Canada. Okay. Canada. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and the Canadians can decide whether to help America or fight against it. Your choice depends okay. on what year it is. <laughs> so, and what the dollar rate is, you know. Wow. <laughs> it's, a, it's a commodity. I element. should probably stop while I'm here. Yeah. No, no, I like that. Just it's end a, with Canada. You're adding a stock market, basically, manipulation to the Fortress America. Yeah. Why cool. would you what do that? What could go wrong? Oh. At Canada? No, I mean the stock market. Thing. No, that was Z. No, I was just no, kidding. Tom said that. I was a joke. It was a bad joke. Okay, but no, but I, w I would have liked. I, I thought Fortune America was great, but it, it always is. bugged me that Canada did nothing. Like they didn't attack, and they didn't defend. They were just there. Right. I want to see the Canadians come in. The well, Mounties. maybe it's like abstracted, and the reason you never got attacked from the north is because Canada had your back. Sure. Yeah. So they did do something. If something is nothing, then yes. <laughs> Here we go again, and I want to point out the moment again that... <laughs> <laughs> I'll just keep, I'll, I'll mention it, I'll be like, check. I'll just let you know when it happens. Anyhow, happened. my number three, oh. Fortress America. All right, my number three is actually our first crossover. I did not think that you would think of this game at all. Mission Red Planet. No. Uh, Forbidden Stars absolutely needs well, an expansion. Why did you give me so much grief about it? Because I didn't want to give it away that it was on my <laughs> list. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is why I never win these social deduction <laughs> games. Uh, who was the... When we, we played the other night, we played uh, Hail Hydra. Sam Healy. Sam and Derek. Yes. The whole time, yep. me and Z were both accusing each other again. It's Captain America. You were wearing that, Captain probably. America switch sides. Did he? Anyway, so... Go ahead. All right, yeah, but yeah, Forbidden Stars. I mean, there's so many different factions in the Warhammer 40K universe. It is just begging for not just one, but probably multiple expansions. Each Fantasy one, flight. each it one pricier than the last. It was a, it was a, it was a guarantee I mean, if they was, kept yeah, it around. Exactly. I mean, there's so many different. I mean, Sisters of Battle, uh, different chapters of Marines that have different special abilities. Name them. Go ahead, name them. Dark Angels. Forty dollars. Blood Angels. Fifty dollars. <laughs> yeah, White Scars. Six Space dollars. <laughs> Seventy, only if you back it early. Sold. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, there is just so much in this universe. It's really a tragedy. It's it's almost criminal that, that first of all, this game's like not available anymore. Right. And then secondarily, no expansions. I didn't this, didn't this design library. bite the dust twice Whoa. in a row? Huh? As uh, StarCraft. And then Forbidden Stars. This is really different from StarCraft. I never played this. Yeah. I played StarCraft. There's a few minor changes. I mean, a few minor similarities, but they're really different. Oh, games. okay. Okay. I thought they were largely the same. No. no. Okay. That's my number three, Forbidden Stars. Number two. <laughs> they're getting less enthusiastic with That's me. That's fine. <laughs> so am I. I mean, the first one was, like, pretty good, and then that was, like, woo. He's still doing Yay. it. Is he going to do this the whole time? I'm glad it's just a top five. Here comes one. <laughs> All right, my number two, actually someone guessed earlier today or yesterday as they were walking by me. My number two is Libertalia. Libertalia is what? a lot like... What am I missed? You're, you're messing up. That would have been really high on my list. Come on, cat, get with it. Look, Libertalia is a lot like this other game I can't say the name of in which you pick characters. <laughs> But there are a lot more characters, like 30, right? I mean, it's, yeah, it's, 30 a, characters. it's a very large cast of character. Each, each uh, character does something different. What and you're, you know, you you're playing, What is it like? You're playing them. The other players are, are playing their own. You reveal them, and they trigger some things. Having, and that's not even necessarily the thing I would change. More characters would be fantastic. Just more pirates, you know, throw crazy stuff in there, whatever you want. It's the tokens that I would actually prioritize as, as needing an expansion. This game is really a card game. It's a pretty simple card game, too. When you reveal cards, what you are attempting to do ultimately is gather these tokens for victory points, and they are quite simplistic. 
it's, you know, get one point, get two points, have the most of these and get five points, something like that. Avoid these because they're negative points. I would love to see a little more going on in that aspect of the game. More cards is great, but different tokens, you know, different uh, reasons as to why you might play this card or that card, a deck of events, that sort of thing. That's what I would love to see in this game. So mm -hmm. Libertalia. This is an excellent more, choice. Excellent. More <laughs> liberty. That's the second Paolo Mori game on your list, too. It is? Yeah, he did a... Uh... Ethnos, you're right. Hmm. He's just well, not, he doesn't do the expansions, baby. He, he come moves to him on, and he's man. Like, no, he's a, he's a wandering man. <laughs> he's got to move on to the next thing. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, my number two, Libertalia. My number two is Mechs versus Minions. You mean Mechs versus verse verse. Minions? Yeah, Mechs versus how you, Minions. How do you say it, Tom? Mm. Verse. Um, a lovely, lovely game. I'm definitely game, not I know. getting dinner. I'm not getting dinner. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> I know Riot Games is almost not interested. This is like a one-off thing. They, they made this as a labor of love, but there's a scenario book in here, a whole series of, of envelopes that you open up and you go on this little story adventure and, and uh, arrange all the, the map pieces in, in cool ways as the story advances. I want more story. When you get to the end of this thing, I want to play more. Um, yeah, add some more minis, uh, some more yordles. That's what they're called, right? Yordles? yordles? To play with. And, uh, <laughs> and, and maybe a few more bad baddies to, to play with, but, but I just want more story, and I want it all to fit in the same box. You're asking oh, well, too much I'm at that sorry, point. Nope, you've gone too not far, gonna Summer. <laughs> sorry. It's my number two, Mechs versus Minions. All right, my number two is going to seem like an odd choice, considering it's a legacy game. <laughs> and that's Charterstone. Ah. Yes. Now look, Charterstone is... One person agreed with you. <laughs> Oh, now, yeah, let's it's back, back her up. All right, Look, good. In the expansion, you slowly remove all the all stickers, stickers back. <laughs> you play the same game in no, reverse. In reverse, yes. Look, I like Charterstone. I thought Charterstone was a very good game as we were playing through it. And then when I finished Charterstone, the final I product, I loved. It was so much, especially when I made my own with the, the mm -hmm. set. But I really like playing Charterstone. And then I'm thinking, ooh, this game could use an expansion. I mean, it's, you know Stegmaier probably has one in his back pocket anyway. Mamas and Papas of Charterstone. The essential <laughs> Charterstone. Charterstone Essential Papas. Edition, yeah. Charterstone Viticulture. Oh. <laughs> Come on. I Charter like culture. It. I like it. Uh, I don't scythe, know if it will happen or not. Scythe Invasion. <laughs> scythe Invasion. <laughs> but, but what if you it's got like the a, reset like a time kit. rift opens Between up. two Charterstones. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's, that's good they stuff. They might actually have that coming. Yeah. That's good stuff. <laughs> Anyhow, I really like this game, and I would like to see more. All right, cool. My number two is a game called Kingsburg, second edition. Second edition. Now, the reason I say second edition oh is because... Oh, my goodness. This is really what? towing the line here. No, it's not. Does Kingsburg, second edition, have an expansion? Included no. in the box. It's included in the box, right? But it's not an expansion if they include it in the box. <laughs> right? <laughs> so no, second edition does not have an expansion. And so... When we pass those tomatoes out, this is the moment to throw them. <laughs> and your eyes will automatically be drawn to the purple, I promise. <laughs> No, yeah, here's what I'm thinking. Look, that. you already have you already have the ability to to change the different rows in your village to, to, to diversify, so to speak, what your village is making as compared to somebody else. And I had the you know probably stupid, maybe crazy, wild idea that maybe we could do that to the king's court as well. Have different rows that you could replace the different types of. Uh, uh, courtesans or whatever you call them, I don't know uh, what the correct word is, but it changes what each person offers. So it also changes the different kinds of things that you're going to have to build your village with or how you procure those things. I just thought it was a cool idea. I don't know. I like it. It's a good idea. I like idea. the game a lot. It's a up. second you're, expansion. I think that's yeah. great. <laughs> it's not a second expansion. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so before we go to number one, as we're doing the number ones, if you want to start lining up at one of the two mics to ask questions, you are welcome to do so. Meanwhile. And finally, number one. Can you feel? Ah, you, always, you always get it at number one. It dies know, down it's, and goes it's back really, up. No, I think that was one. a celebratory, finally. <laughs> it's over. It's over. Yeah. Yes. 
I could feel the. Those the, are some of the people the from Grand Con who heard you talk over there. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right, my number one is a game, like many games, which comes with a number of cases, a number of stories you play through. And once you've played through those, in this case, 12 of them, you're done. So this one really, really needs one, and I adore the game. The game is called Deadline. And Deadline, you are, it's a whodunit, it's like a gumshoe kind of setting in which you are, in a very simple way, playing some cards, breaking into places, or, you know, gaining enough symbols that you can interrogate someone and then finding out part of the whodunit. And so you'll flip over a card, you'll read what happened, you'll discuss it with the people you're playing, it's all cooperative. You are sometimes dealt cards that force you to deal with, um, you know, like a, a detriment, uh, some detrimental rule you have to follow. The best way I can describe it, assuming you know these other two games, is, you know, the Sherlock Holmes consulting detective type thing meets the Grizzled, in which you are playing cards, again, to match something or to avoid matching something in that game. I adore this game, it's fantastic. But there's 12 cases in it. And once you've done those 12, you, you need more, you need more content. Hmm. Now I'll admit, I haven't done all 12, but the fear of that almost keeps me from playing the game. I know that seems like a weird thing. This no, crushing it. disappointment, that makes sense. you know. This... What will I do when this is over? Right, right, which is ridiculous. I'll play one of the other 300 games there, but it's still a thing, you know. In the back of your head, you've, you've got that fear probably as well. So yeah, Deadline needs expansions. Quick question on this one. What is going on in that picture? So he is going for the gun, but his eyesight is horrible. So she's going, hold on, I've got a, a magnifying glass. Let me help you find it. All the time she's reaching behind her for the door so she can get out of there. That makes, well, what's he doing with his other hand? He's making scary claw hand. <laughs> The jazz hands, it's during a musical. Now the phone's ringing, he's reaching for the phone. Yeah. Yes. In a very dramatic way. Yes. Ah. I'll get it. Back this way. <laughs> he doesn't know where anything is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry know. to the artist of this, I'm sure it's a fantastic picture. <laughs> my number one is a game that I've played with my kids and adored. It's Stuffed Fables. Oh yeah, from Plat Hat Games. Uh, there are there are seven chapters in the game, and, and it's a good amount of gameplay. It's very satisfying when you get to the end. But I want more adventures with these stuffies. I want to see new friends that they find, new adventures with the little girl that you meet in the in the storyline. There should be more in there, and I, I I know they're working on it. Yeah, I'm sure but there will be. They haven't announced anything yet. I, I'm waiting somewhat patiently for, for more stories and, and stuffies in Stuff Fables. My number yeah, one. that's good. Yeah, I, I would be really surprised if they did not do an expansion to this. Right. So, but you're right, they haven't announced it yet. They have not. Well, I think they're working on the, the Comanauts, the new adventure book game, so they've they got to get past that first. Is that Maybe. like these, like this, and the bug one? Yeah, Comanauts is another adventure book game, but it's not as much a family game as it is a, it's more of an adult adventure. It's the same it's, a, it's an adventure book. You've okay. got, you know, a book and the board and no stuffies and in, in I don't unless it's like an Easter egg. Maybe it's an expansion. Maybe there's okay. a stuffy expansion for Comanauts. All right, you're in a coma and you find yeah, if the you have stuffy. The stuffy yeah. Maybe that way. Now it's our turn to do that steering wheel thing. Yeah, yeah. I just I did it. I just did it. On, you looked away and I did it. Bam, gotcha. All right, my number one has already been mentioned. Um, Who? And by whom? Not by. Is this, it Buffy? No, it's oh, not. My. <laughs> to me, this was the most obvious thing when I made the list. I put this one down and didn't even think twice. And Eric has mentioned it already, and that's Mechs vs. Minions. I mean, this game is just begging for an expansion. Really? Right, games. And I asked if they were going to do an expansion, and he said, not now. He didn't say no, even though not now has two no's in it. <laughs> yeah. Which is, which is yeah. a double negative and therefore a yes. Ooh, the code. What's a TW stand for? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, I, I would love to see more missions for this, more, I would like to see four new mechs. I would, what I want for this is different than what Eric wants. I want another whole box. 
I want mechs versus minions too, compatible with the first one. You can take the mechs out, you can mix it, a different right. kind of minion, different kinds of cards, but you can mix and match them somehow magically. That sounds like the way and to then, go. And um, then Broken Token will make a box that will hold everything inside, and it will only oh, cost geez. $280 assembled. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then and two people to carry. <laughs> yeah. Assembly instructions for five days. Right. Yes. Uh -huh. And it has, it has wheels on it. It's a cart that you... I'm yeah. counting the days now. When Melody gets home, I'll be like, here's some broken tokens stuff. <laughs> yeah. I didn't tell her that yet. She is good at that. She probably knows now. <laughs> Maybe she's All not right. watching. My number one has already been mentioned as well. That was a lot more crossover than we wow. suspected. Yeah, a lot more. Who said it? Mr. Purple Jacket. <laughs> yeah! But Mission Red Planet. Planet. It's got to be Mission Red Planet. Mission Red Planet, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I yeah. thought you would put that one on your list. I yeah. will say, technically, the moon is an expansion. No, it's not. It wasn't in the original. That's correct. It was not. And then they put it in the second version. That's not an expansion. They exactly. expanded the original game with an extra mm -hmm. section. <laughs> it's included in the game, you troll. It's just, not an expansion. You just said Kingsburg I'm not calling you help. a troll, by the way. By the way, don't forget, you can line up for sorry. questions. <laughs> just Z. Z's the troll. Anyway, uh, I wasn't talking about, I wasn't thinking like extra planets or anything like that. That seems really corny. But what I was thinking about was uh, like a complete different set of, of powers for everybody. I said um, that too. I know you did, and that's oh, okay. what I'm agreeing with you on. I think that would be an awesome idea to give other players the ability to play different strategies I guess you could say uh, from each ones and, and maybe even maybe even build your own power deck or oh, you mean like different like the players would have different powers from each other yeah actually oh. you know what would be cool if you had one player playing against the rest of them and they represented like an embedded a alien force or something in Mars you know what I was also thinking is that we could try to somehow I don't know how. oh here we go I feel it no, Do it's it. just a, this is a stupid thing that I thought Go of. Ahead. I, I wanted to mention it. You know uh, that Schwarzenegger movie? Um, I can't even remember the name recall? of it. Total Recall? Total Recall? Yeah, Total Recall. It, it worked that into, like, have it be like a scenario that you could play with Mission Red Planet, where yeah, one that's, person that's is... That's a stupid idea. Shut up. It is, <laughs> is actually playing as, like, Arnold Schwarzenegger's faction. And they have to get in and... and uh, uh, Keep talking. It's a stupid idea. <laughs> I, I'm taking back mine off my list. <laughs> <laughs> That's my number one, Mr. Red Planet, second edition. All righty. Well, that is our top five games that need an expansion. In the comments below... Oh, wait. In the comments below. <laughs> in the comments below. Tell us your top games that need expansions. Okay. So, well, no one lined up for questions, so it, you can still do that, but we'll just riff for a bit while we're waiting. Riff. Um, what do we think of the con so far? It's great. Is it bigger than last year? It is. Yes. Yep. Um, Less we crowded, like it? though, yes. because they spread out, right? I feel like it. Yeah. yeah. I'm really enjoying the exhibit hall, particularly. Yeah, very much so. Sure. Really spread out, mm -hmm. really easy to move around, and it doesn't feel overcrowded. I think that was something we said last year as well, that had more open space. So they haven't crunched it totally full yet, which is good. I do fear, as, as more and more people come to this, that it will lose some of the, the vibe that we got last year. Um, but so far, so far, so good. It's been this it's been always. Good. That's that. I, I hate when people people always have that fear that if more people come, gaming gets worse. I didn't say it would get worse. I said it would get crowded. All right. Well, it hasn't felt that way. Let's start over here. We'll go with our first question. Tell us who you are, too. When hi, I'm David, uh, and thanks, guys, very much for coming to Philly again. Um, so, uh, my qu Yay, Yay, Philly! Philly. <laughs> <laughs> go Eagles! <laughs> uh, hey, so I'm pandering. Yes, you are. So my question is, uh, what's the oldest game in your collections that you would still break out and play and that you think everybody else should try? Ooh, Cosmic Encounter. Yeah, that's an easy one. <laughs> hey, come on. 1977. It's like a softball. You just was like, here, get yeah. that. Well, yours is the same thing. I, I think I got to go with 1988's Merchant of Venus. Wow! <laughs> you may have heard of this it. This makes us look like noobs, <laughs> Sam. <laughs> Great. Um, and I, you don't. Neither one of you has go in your collections. I chess. Only <laughs> I'm gonna go with Sid Saxon's "I'm the Boss." Oh, that's a good one. Oh yeah, maybe yeah. Which I'm is gonna, from? Gonna, is, that one's from 19. Of, uh, more power. <laughs> yeah, great game from that year. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll jump over here. Okay. Hi, I'm Ali. Uh, Hi. I just want to ask. 
Do you guys think Keyforge is going to be their style where they're doing one deck that's unique and that you come to play in tournaments? Is that going to be adopted in the future instead of the traditional get a booster pack, get exclusive card? Mm. Would other um, other properties do it? Oh, like is someone going to copy that? Yeah. <laughs> this is gaming. Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, you know someone at Seamon well, is in the corner like, a little bit. <laughs> Get that made. AG's probably working on one. Um, like, will it take over? It's not going to beat out Magic. It's no. not going to... I don't know. I mean, it, it, it's obviously doing extremely well right now. Yeah. This is a better thing to know in March. But it's, well, it's a month old, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, like, this convention's the first convention it's really at. Mm-hmm. Do you, do you guys like that approach better than the traditional? Oh, yeah. I think it's great. I, I really do, because it's not, a, it's, it's not a money sink. You know, yeah, you, can, you can buy your deck, and you've got... And then you can buy another deck, deck. What? And then another deck. Yeah, but you don't have... I mean, it's... You could buy a deck that you think is really good and stick with that one deck. You don't know what the deck is before you purchase but it. But once you buy it, you can be completely happy with it. <laughs> you could be. Yeah. <laughs> He was waiting. He was waiting for Tom to say that. He was waiting for it. I like it. I like it because we got a few guys in our group, you might have seen one earlier today, who are upset by this unique thing because they cannot literally own it all. And I get so much joy out of that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I, I don't want to buy it just because what if I don't like the name of the deck? I would be very sad if I didn't like it. I think name. it's, in my opinion, it's the exact wow. same model as a CCG. Except one card stands for one deck. I mean, it's the same thing. I just, you, you know, I don't get it. I don't, I don't know well, how it's different. I mean, I, I, I respect the algorithm, whatever they've got going on. That every now and then gives you a naughty name, fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I respect that. I'm, I'm all for it. But it's the, it's the same model, really. I mean, you buy a thing and you don't know what you're getting. It's not the same it's, model. You don't have to go pay, I don't know, two grand for a card that's super rare. But, but you like might that. pay for the deck. It's the same thing. If I pay for the deck, you know I'm on a level playing field you're gonna buy with everyone two else. Grand? Uh, wait, what do you mean if you buy it? In, in terms you, of my chances. If I go get a random deck, a cool no, 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 I mean that they're opening cool decks stuff. and selling them. There's already a secondary market for that. Do it. And some decks are better, i.e., they're worth like $400. Yeah. It's the same thing, you know what I mean? I, 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 see, it, I see it as the same thing. Sure. Come on. Yeah, <laughs> to me, anyway, that's how, it, that's how it appears to be. 200, 250 yeah. decks. We should move so on. If I you think, spend right? two, two grand on Keyforge, you're going to have 200 decks. By the way, if you're a, not okay with that, you need to check yourself into somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Quick side note, we've searched the deck names on the database, and there are decks with the word Z or Healy, and yes. one that even had Dicey Tower. You have one of those decks, contact me. I'll yeah. buy it. For yeah, if you $400. Have one, not, don't, don't talk <laughs> if, to these guys. If you have the one that says K Healy of something, I want it. What was that one? Uh, I can't afford it very much, though, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a 50% markup. <laughs> Hi. Hello, I'm Mike. Hi, Mike. Hi, Mike. Hello. So I was. Hi, uh, Mike. Hello. You're not going to do any like Hello, Mr. Garcia. Uh, Beavis and Butthead impersonation. No, I'm not. Okay, I'm not good. going to do it. Thank right, you very cool. much. You're welcome. Long story. <laughs> but uh, the now that you've uh, been immortalized in iconography and you actually have you know the iconography up on the screen and you have to have pins that actually have your iconography. Is there pressure amongst uh, the four of you because your iconography actually includes your uh, iconic hair stylings upon your face? Is there uh, pressure upon you to maintain said hairstyle? Or if you ever shave your beard, I think, will they change the iconography? That's what I'm asking. I think mine's different already. I think I have uh, uh, my old one has a goatee. So well, to clarify the second part, since I'm paying for it, no. Yeah. <laughs> We're not changing it. I don't care. If, like, yep. Zeke could shave his beard. This dye has a beard forever. I got, I got different glasses after mine came out. Mine are totally different now. Oh, so, me? You know, it's fine. Uh, yeah, they, I mean, yeah, like, I know it's fine. I know it's fine. I'm saying it's fine. I, no, I was just hoping fine. one. I was hoping one of you would go full ZZ Top, or you know, you know, one of those. Just, just, or even uh, Mr. Summer go like with the with the full like big mutton chops, just just to mess with the icon. I'll tell you what for I did. Fun. I'll tell you what I did think about doing for the next convention. I'm going to buy a wig and I'm going to wear a wig around the convention, so that people will stop calling me Mr. Healy. Yeah, <laughs> that happened here. Yeah. <laughs> 
already it's happened like two or three hey, times. Dude, if you're listening, it's. It, I really meant it, it when I said it's matter. okay. It's cool. It all. doesn't bother me. I just think it's, you know. Except it bothers you. <laughs> I, I don't think we look that much alike. I feel like you lied a little bit. Look, I've already got the wig. It's not a big deal. <laughs> all right, over here. My name is Murray, and Hi, I'm Murray. dying to know that you guys all get to all like a family together. Has there been a game, and you don't have to mention the game, that was so bad that you guys passed it amongst one another just to see how bad it was? Wait, we, we passed it? <laughs> like, oh, you gotta try this yes, one. Yes. Why don't you review this one? This is kind of like the thing where you're like, this smells terrible. Yes, it's exactly it. right. Uh, Tom does that with Dice Tower tonight sometimes. He'll, he'll be like, this game is terrible. I'm sending it to you tomorrow. <laughs> That's happened once or twice. We have a couple games in the office that have showed up, and we keep sticking them on the other person's desk. Yep. Like, you got to review this. Right. And then it shows back up in someone else's desk. Right. It's in the inbox again. Well, I, what we do is I'll be like, hey, Sam, hold this yeah, for a yeah, second. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, here, hold this for a minute, will you? Oh, you got it. You're doing it, you know. But that's about as much it. If a game's really bad, it's more of a, I love you, man. Don't touch that. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Hello. Hi. Hello. I'm Cassia. Hi, Cassia. Uh, I wanted to know what your thoughts are on Wingspan. Wingspan. Are you talking about the new Stonemaier yes. game? Yes. Mm. I don't know anything about it. I'm I know it's a new <laughs> Stonemaier game. <laughs> it's about birds, possibly? Yes. yes. I, did, I did my part, fellas. It they could have been about planes. <laughs> no. Not please. Or long arms. <laughs> you have to wait till January before we can talk about it. Oh. 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 So you do okay. know something. <laughs> <laughs> I, hope, I hope. I believe you Am pushed to the talk? right button. <laughs> yes. I don't remember what I could say. Yes, yeah, uh, it, it, the cover's pretty. <laughs> I think you need to wait on that one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes, sir. Hi, my name is uh, Jeff. Hi, Jeff. I, I actually have a question for Tom. What was the first game you played with Sam and Z and, and Eric, like individually or separately? Like, do you remember playing the first game you played with them? Sam was Overpower. Yeah. The collectible card game. I, yeah, we didn't play Rook before that, I don't think. No, it was Overpower. Yeah. Z, Mad Zeppelin, <laughs> which is a burn on sight game. <laughs> I showed up to the game group, I was like, hey, I brought some games to try out, and Zeke jumped in, and it was uh, done by Faduti, right? No, no, it just looks like a Faduti clone. It looked like Fiduti a game clone. that we won't mention. It's a Faduti clone, right. we were right. like, oh exactly. yeah, this is going to be exciting, and wow, it was really bad. We played it, and immediately I'm like, this Tom Vassal guy does not <laughs> understand how to pick good games, because this is... <laughs> This is not bringing The actual it. truth is, he was almost as excited as I was. We both thought it was going to be a good game. We were both fans of that style of game, and it was bad, yeah. I don't remember what the game I played with you. It's been so long ago. Uh, it's it's going to be something at Origins that year, so it's probably either Dominion Intrigue or Defenders of the Realm. Hmm. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. You're just going to uh, agree because you can't go with that. It, it was something like that. It was non-memorable. Great. <laughs> wow. Wow. Really feel the love right now. Yeah, really. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. You're welcome. Hi. Uh, Hi. Uh, I'm Ashley, and my son, who's six, loves you guys. Oh, cool. uh, my question is actually, what would be your favorite game geared towards the tabletop gamer kid? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> geared toward the kid, I'm gonna, just kids, or I'm gonna, I'm gonna parents would no, pass like parents on this would one. enjoy too, because he doesn't e enjoy games that are like for little little kids. Yeah. Well, there's this game called Stuffed Fables that uh, I mentioned yeah, already on my list. <laughs> earlier. Already on my list. <laughs> I found that for kid versus adult, Drop It works really well. Drop it. Oh, mm -hmm. Yeah, that dropping the thing in, and it, it, you could like go and drop it in, and it mm. might be amazing which gives you a chance against the kid. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you laugh. I mean, that's the only yeah. way I got a shot anymore. Yeah. Plus he there are Joker tokens. He wins every game. He right. wins every game without trying. Sometimes. Oh, well, then I would oh, recommend... Oh, that's the case? <laughs> then... 1856? Um, <laughs> Automania. <laughs> 
16, 56. Okay. Uh, I was going to say uh, Ghost Fighting Treasure Hunters. Is oh, a, yeah, is a cooperative. Good, yeah. It's yeah. a good cooperative team. game. You're, you're on the same team, and you <laughs> both win or you both lose, so take that, kid. Uh, <laughs> I'm going with you. Uh, but um, Coconuts is also a good one. It's yep. a dexterity game that uh, is really good from Mayfair Games, I think. So that's that's really fun as well. Uh, my my son is eight, and he loves both of those games. So okay. any of the forbidden games too, Sky or or Not uh, Sky, Desert. the other two. Okay. Any of the other um, two. Yeah, Forbidden Sky. Totally <laughs> no. Either of the good ones. <laughs> <laughs> He likes Forbidden Island a lot. Uh, desert. Go with Desert. If you we remember, have... we, we predicted Forbidden Skies here. You we did. did. That was last year. Last year, here. Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank You're you. welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. My name is Steve. Uh, I have a question since it was brought up multiple times during the top five. Uh -oh. When is everyone else getting such fabulous jackets like Tom has? <laughs> oh, maybe I'll buy you all one for Christmas? Uh, and then we can wear them on stage next time? Um, I don't think any of us want to compete with the glory. <laughs> we'll let him have that line. That's the, best, that's it, the best answer. It's in the that contract that we're not allowed to draw <laughs> too much attention from him. No one-upsmanship. Yeah, we, we must can. all wear black, we muted tones. Yes. Right. Yeah. Muted tones. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. Thank you. <laughs> all right, nobody no, over there? That, so. that, that yeah, mic over died. There. All right, back over here. Hi, my name's Steven. Uh, uh, I'm Steven. curious to know... What would be on your list of games that came out with an expansion that definitely did not need one? <laughs> <laughs> All right, start us up. Number 10. Go ahead. Number 10. Here we go. Uh, you thought I wasn't ready for this. <laughs> you got a whole list of stuff. Um, is that what that is? No. <laughs> He's writing a novel. I do, I, I do work, you know, on other things. Uh, wow. I can't, I mean, I want to say El Grande off the top of my head, but the one expansion for El Grande is pretty decent. The other one is Burn It. Um, I'm trying to think, if, I don't know of any game that has like one expansion that I don't like. Right. I mean, there, I'm sure there's got to be a Kickstarter title oh, that came out with the Jamaica. expansions right away. Jamaica. Oh. I don't like that expansion for Jamaica at all. It's good. Get him Z. So here's why. <laughs> Because Jamaica's a race to get to the end, but there's also other things you can do to get points. With the expansion, getting to the end is the only strategy, and I don't like that. Also, that weird of picking the people in the columns and makes no thematic sense, even at a little. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. I like it. I thought it was a good expansion. He's right about the thematic thing, but... It's great. I'm trying. I can't come up with anything. I can't. I can't. I really don't like, and it sounds kind of strange because I really like miniatures, but when a Kickstarter game comes out and it's got like, you're drinking from the fire hose as far as how much they give, they send you. I mean, it's, that's just gaudy and you, you're never really even guaranteed that you're going to use all of it. I mean, what if you play it and yeah, you like it, but I'm not going to use these 15 different expansions that it came with. Right. You've got to be quiet. Simon's going to send some people in here. Like, what are you saying? saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I, mean, yeah, I, guess just... the, I guess the only way to, for me to answer that question is, you know, some games have 18 expansions. By the fourth, they should have stopped. Yeah. That's, like, that's like a very well, he's asking exactly. for games that came out with an expansion at the same time, right? Or are you just asking for expansions that are... Just any expansion. Reef yeah. encounters of the second kind. No, it's a good expansion. No. They didn't need that. <laughs> one no, person's I, played it. One person in the front row was like, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're talking yeah. about that. Half the, the uh, back row is like, wait, the like second, the Spielberg movie? The yeah. second Battlestar Galactica yes, expansion yes. should not have been made. Yeah, I agree. Except for um, the other Battlestar. That should have been the expansion. They should have left that dumb planet you know, that was actually that was they could have just did planet. that with all the battle stars. They could have just cut out big chunks of them and made one good expansion. Right. Hmm. That's true. Right. Thank you. Thanks. You're welcome. Looks like one more. Yeah, to do that. You know, I can. Oh, oh. Wow. Hey. <laughs> um, hello, my name is Purnell, and Hi. I've had this chat with my friends in the past, but given the exposure to the number of games you guys get due to reviews and stuff, I figured it'd be an interesting question to ask you. What gameplay mechanic do you think is currently kind of oversaturating the market nowadays, and which ones do you think aren't popping up nearly often enough, and there's room for more? 
Deck Over building. I'm sick. Sick, sick. Deck building? Very sick of deck building. Well, right now, roll and write is uh, being done too much. I say roll and I, write. I like roll and write games, but we don't need 90 of them. Especially, I was telling someone, I played one last night, it was very fun. But I don't know why I would pick that one over the other 40 that are That's out. True. They're they're all just tiny variations on the same thing, with a few exceptions. They'll have dice on the cover just exploding out. <laughs> <laughs> um, but as for what do I want to see more of? I want to see more of that mechanism from Richard Red Planet, where you have a handful of cards, you play one, do an action, and once you're done playing all your cards, you play one that lets you pick them back up. Like we're starting to see, yeah, we're starting to see more well, Concordia that. has a little deck building in it, technically, right? Hand building, whatever. No, you right. just said you no just more said deck building, so that. back up. Um, I'm saying you, <laughs> that thing you're talking about is in Concordia. Yeah, but I, like the, I, I would like to see more of that. I mean, I think for me it's either drafting or I split you choose mechanisms. Oh, that's good. I, I split, split you, you choose. choose. Good. Yeah. That you don't want to see anymore? No, no, I want more of that. You you deck building is what I'm kind of over deck building. Yeah. Largely because a deck building game doesn't bring a whole lot else to the table. It's almost like someone comes up with an idea for a game. They go, okay, what mechanism would make this work? Hmm, deck building. I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, I, no, I don't I know. I don't, I don't like that. Yeah, I've, I've never really... I, I don't dislike it, I guess, but I've never really been a fan. I didn't see the draw of, of why Dominion was so popular because it, the theme was really The artwork. Dry. No. <laughs> no. Just draws you right in. The theme right, was so really consistent. dry, and I know it had a... You know, the mechanism is solid. I get it, but right. I just didn't, I didn't understand the, the draw that Dominion had. And because, I mean, we used to play it, like, religiously every single time... Crazy. And I got <laughs> tired of it, man. I was so sick of playing Dominion. I was, I would go twiddle my thumbs before I played Dominion. And I just, deck building is just not cool. But the I pick you choose, yeah, that's really cool. Um, that, that's, a, that's a good choice. And I, I love card drafting. I love card drafting because it really gives you, um, puts you really in the driver's seat. It almost takes, you know, top decking yeah. cards and drawing a hand of cards just off the table. Well, I'll say one right, more. Sure. Okay, so next question. Let me say one more. <laughs> Building your own dice. Modifying the die as you play. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Cool. more of that. Right, yeah, yes. more of that. Hi, I'm Rigo. This is my first time ever coming here. Cool. I got two questions. All right. One. Oh, boy. Will this be on YouTube? Hopefully. I think Pax is putting it up somewhere. Hi, Mom. <laughs> that's you. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. That's good. And your top five, what was that game that you said had like a Sherlock Holmes vibe to it? Deadline. Deadline. Cool. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. All right, last question over here. I'm super impressed with his mom if she <laughs> finds this. Right. Uh, I'm another Eric. Hi. Uh, Hi. Quick question for you. Having seen the iconof iconography today, the dice that you've each chosen, if you had to choose a different game component to be, what would each of you choose to be? That's on f that question is on fire. Yeah. <laughs> what game? I really like being a die. Um, I'd be a squawk box from like a 1980s <laughs> something. Rock, 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 rock. <laughs> we don't have to ask Sam. He'd be a Viking warrior. Yeah, a Viking helmet or yeah, some sort of that, Viking how is that a pawn. Component? I mean, I don't. They're uh, like in all the games you play. No, they're not. Come on. A metal coin. Yeah, you? that's a good one. I already one. said it. Oh, I want to be paper money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I don't, I don't know. know. I'll be um, a playing card or something. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe like. Do um, no, no, okay. Ah. Uh, Just say something time, Viking. Time, time, time. I, Millennium Falcon. I want to be a Millennium Falcon. <laughs> Yeah, that I want to be Voltron. That I want to I, I wanna get that sued. One, come on. <laughs> that one I definitely can't afford. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for coming out today. We really appreciate it. Come by our booth. Uh, we appreciate you taking time. We'll be at our booth um, tomorrow and Sunday, and we'll be there different times. Until next time, though, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Eric Summerer. I have I'm Z Garcia. And I'm Sam Healy. We'll see you guys and gals on the flip side. Bye-bye. I'm 
so indie that my shirt don't fit. You wonder out loud. I want to laugh. Yo, why you come so ill-equipped? Because uh, being all prepared to get on the mic is something. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.